Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today, we're going to talk about bamboo and the downside of bamboo. Now, bamboo is a type of fabric that I enjoy having in my cloth diaper stash, but there are some serious downsides to choosing bamboo. And I wanted to make this video just to inform you guys if you guys are new to cloth diapering and you're trying to decide what to buy and why you should buy it or what will be the best long term, we're gonna go over the downsides of having bamboo. Now, if you're interested in maybe making this into a little mini series, maybe I can do the downsides of cotton and also the downsides of hemp, the downsides of microfiber, charcoal bamboo, etc., etc. So if you guys are interested in maybe a little mini series like that, let me know down below and I'm sure I can work something out. So bamboo is a type of fabric that I really enjoy. Bamboo can come in all different types of formats. When, when we're talking about cloth diapering, I mean, it can be sewn into an all-in-one, it can be an insert, it can be a pre-fold, or it can even be a flat cloth diaper. So there are many ways that bamboo shows up in the cloth diapering world. And today I'm just going to show you these three types of absorbency. I'm going to show you an insert, I'm going to show you a pre-fold, and I'm also going to show you a flat cloth diaper and we'll talk about all of them. So one of the biggest disadvantages to bamboo is that it shrinks. Now, when you get any type of natural fiber, when you first get it in, when it's brand new, you have to prep it. Now this pertains to a brand new diaper. If you buy one used that's been used for a while, you don't need to prep it. You might need to strip it, maybe bleach it, kind of disinfect it when you buy it when you buy it used. The only time you really need to prep a diaper is when you buy it brand new. And the reason why you want to prep it is because a lot of these fabrics have natural oils in them and so when you prep them and you wash them, it washes those natural oils out and then your diaper is able to absorb so much more fluid. And when it comes to bamboo, it'll shrink when you prep it, but also after it's done being prepped, and prepped just refers to this insert being at its maximum absorbency. So after you prep this, this thing will hold a few ounces of pee. Well, sometimes bamboo will just keep shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. This insert specifically will not keep shrinking. I've had this since 2015 and it has not. This is pretty sure a China cheapy bamboo. I think it's like a bamboo viscose. So it's, I think it's either from Sun Baby or maybe even Alva Baby. This insert specifically is not going to shrink anymore. But what I have in my stash that has had a lot of shrinkage are my bamboo prefolds and my bamboo flats. These shrink a lot. This used to be a large flat and now this is like a newborn size flat. I don't have my tape measure on me and I wish I did, but this thing is so tiny. This is like a newborn size pad fold. And one of the main causes for your flats and your prefolds to keep on shrinking over the years, because these are things that I've had for years, and they just keep on shrinking smaller and smaller over the years, is that if you wash your diapers in hot water, or if you dry your diapers on hot or high heat in the dryer, it'll cause them to shrink over time. Just keep on shrinking and shrinking and shrinking over the months and over the years. Now there are a few items that I've had that just keep on shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, and they're so tiny and small, and they're like preemie sized. They're not even usable, really. And that sucks. That sucks to have a diaper that just keeps on shrinking over the years. And the other bad thing that comes with all of this bamboo shrinking is that all brands have batches of bamboo that shrink. It's not just exclusive to one brand. Like back in 2015, I bought some Nikki's bamboo prefolds and those shrunk so small. I got size medium and they shrank down to like a size small or a size newborn. Just really, really tiny compared to what I bought it at. And then same with my Nikki's bamboo flats. They just shrink so small. I've had things from Diaper Right. Like here's a large flat. This looks just like a one size flat now. So this shrank a lot as well. I've had bamboo prefolds, like this Imagine bamboo prefold. I got this. I've been using it every single week for over a year now. And it's just now starting to show signs of getting really small. And so 
I don't really think any brand is exempt from this and I think it can vary from batch to batch because there are some batches that are just really bad that shrink a lot but I don't think it's exclusive to one brand. I've even had some Grovia prefolds that just shrink so so small just like ridiculous short stubby squatty preemie sized still very absorbent but just like really small and thick. And oftentimes I feel like I don't stress this enough in my videos because I do enjoy bamboo. I love bamboo because it's really absorbent. I love bamboo because it's really soft. Usually it's really buttery soft, especially compared to things like hemp and cotton. It's just really nice and I feel like my children really enjoy when they have bamboo against them because it's just a lot softer. But it shrinks. And for that reason, I know that bamboo is off limits for some people. Some people don't even touch bamboo with a 10 foot pole. And I don't blame them because it sucks to have a diaper for, you know, I've had this one for about four years. And it really hasn't, I mean, there's, there's not a lot of shrinkage on this one compared to a lot of my other diapers, like my buttons bamboo prefolds. Those were all over, those were so wonky. Those were all over the place. So it just goes to show you that it doesn't really matter what brand you're using shrinkage is going to happen with these things. And I honestly believe that a lot of that is accredited to the high heat that we use in the washer and our wash routine and also the high heat that's used in the dryer. So if you do buy bamboo, if you choose bamboo, if you like bamboo, maybe try washing it on cold. Maybe try hang drying it or just tumble drying it or drying it on low in your dryer. That'll definitely reduce the amount of time that it takes to shrink the product. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense. I actually think I'm going to buy some bamboo prefolds and mark them and maybe for the next year see how some prefolds do when I wash them on cold and dry them on low heat or hang dry and then also see what they do when they're washed on high heat and dried on high heat and compare the sizes. I think that would be really really fun to do so I think I might do that within the next year but we'll see. So, I'm here editing the video, and I didn't even close this video out. I just filmed that, what you just saw, and that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video for you guys. In conclusion, bamboo shrinks a lot, and it sucks. It's more likely to shrink if you use high heat and hot water. Um, it's buttery soft, and that's why I like it. It's pretty absorbent, but sometimes... You get something like a bamboo prefold and it'll shrink over time and it'll shrink so small and so thick to like a newborn size or a preemie size and it just gets so thick that it would be ridiculous for a newborn so yeah bamboo does have its downsides and it does shrink a lot and I don't really talk about that enough on my channel but I wanted to make a video just about the shrinkage because it it needs to be put out into the universe. You guys need to know that bamboo shrinks and if you dry it on high heat, if you wash it on hot water, you're gonna see shrinkage a lot faster. I mean, it also depends on the batch of bamboo which can be really, really random. So whenever you're buying bamboo, you're kind of just taking a random chance. I mean, every brand that I've ever tried has definitely had a bad batch of bamboo, so it's kind of random. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I have a lot more videos I need to edit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let's continue the conversation down below. What are your experiences with bamboo? Have you had bamboo that shrank like crazy? If you did, tell me what brands, what type. Was it a prefold? Was it a flat? Was it an insert? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too